What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and today we're going to be discussing how you can become a month millionaire super fast in Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Now, the number one thing, the number one pro tip is to always check your objectives and your mutt level. You can find that where, where I just showed you right there, top left of your Ultimate Team home screen in Madden 19. Okay, this will give you and display all information that's necessary in the growth of your team and what's going to help you to get coins. For instance, improving your overall can get you coins. Um, starting to chase your mutt mask can get you coins. Winning 175 solo, challenge, uh, solo challenges or battles can get you coins. There's a lot of different things in here. Ultimately, the mutt master that's going to get you a lot of coins. Now, if you're chasing mutt master, keep in mind, you're going to make over a million coins just by completing it and doing all of his additional objectives after you get him with the Mutt Master stats and everything like that. So that's to come later on, okay? But just go ahead and check this out to see how doing certain things will get you coins. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is the auction house. Now, for all intents and purposes, right, I, this right this video is being done before the game is released to the look like, to everyone this is August 2nd 2018 okay so the game is set to release with the Hall of Fame edition um, in uh, when, when are they gonna be doing that uh, August 7th so this right now typically looking at it um, you can look at some of the prices and stuff like that and you can try to see what the price ranges are of certain cards okay with this year the training point situation is gonna be very very huge for a lot of different reasons number one People of EA Sports is going to have to provide a lot more cards because people are going to be going crazy with power-ups, including myself. So what does that mean for you? Okay, because these cards are going to have more value because you have to quick sell them for training points for the most part, because in the store, to my knowledge, I haven't seen any training point packs as of yet. Okay, so let's take a look at it now. Special offers, Elite Fantasy Pack, Players, um, no. Visuals, Color Rush Fantasy Pack, Launch Premium Packs, okay, uh, what is this, choose one of three, grab, okay, that's all uniforms though, right, Premium Uniform Grab Bag, and then Tickets, so there's no Training Point Packs as of right now, so at the time of this video, which it could change, you, you have to, in order to get any Training Points, you have to quick sell cards or play solos, which is what I've been doing. Okay, so for instance, here goes some elites right here. If I wanted to quick sell this guy, which I wouldn't do because he goes inside uh, Tom Brady's diamond set, um, I would get 65 training. Okay, so because people know that the lower elites are going to give you more than, let's say, a gold, okay, you can assess the value of your cards like that. But just keep in mind that people are going to be buying these cards up because they want to complete sets. They want to do different things. And they've given us so many different options this year with Madden 19 to make your team better for cheaper and to be able to utilize and downgrade power-ups. So it's going to be a lot of people just putting stuff on the auction, a lot of people, you know, trying to get their power-ups. So you can price these cards relatively, you know, 5K for gold, stuff like that, a lot different than how it was in Madden 18 where most of us just thought, okay, this card's going to sit here forever and just not do anything in my binder, but I'm too lazy to put it up to sell it. You see what I'm saying? That's what pretty much happened. People just said, you know what? I don't really care anymore. It, it doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to do whatever I want, and I'm just going to let these cards sit here, and it doesn't matter. Now, everybody's getting quick sold, so people are going to need more cards. Get your goals out there for, for competitive rates, okay? Competitive rates with your goal cards and your low elites is going to get you so many hundreds and hundreds of uh, thousands of coins, okay? And I can let you know right now, because I've already seen, with the limited amount of people that have the game, the goals are still selling right now, because people are actively trying to power up cards. So they're, they're buying them for 5k a pop right now, okay? That's the situation with the training points. We're going to get to another thing that i got to really explain inside the item sets later, but the number one way is solos. Solo battles, solo challenges. I made almost 200k from completing just the campaign solos. 83 solos, okay? Now, when you look at 83, you're like, oh my God, it's a lot of solos. Not really. They're all moments except for the last part where there's four games that are full games. So out of the 83, you minus four, okay? They're full games, and you got to put on true clock, and you got to go from there. But these are all, yo, they're just filled with coins and packs, okay, to get you started off. So that's 200K right there. Okay, so that's one-fifth of being a millionaire from doing one level of solos, guys. I, bro, that's one level. Not to mention, I didn't even start Gauntlet yet because I'm going to be live streaming that and giving you guys every game that I play from it so you guys can see exactly what I do in order to beat it. Okay, 
So uh, training camp, what happens is this requires mutt level 50. There's different ways to get coins from these things, but I did the first 10. For some reason, they think you're going to have a level 50 right now. I don't understand that. It's kind of weird, but maybe that's going to remain there. And, you know, you'll be able to do it. But it says the current weekly training camp will be unavailable after 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be available again at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time with new challenges. So I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm way away from a level 50 right now. Okay? So here we go right now. Plus, you got the Legends. You can play that for solo, uh, for points and coins also. Well, not points, but for, uh, you know, training points. Because you get, you get cards that you could quick sell if you want. If you don't want to complete the Legend set. Or, you know what I'm saying, you could sell it. Whatever. Whatever you guys want to do, it's up to you. Okay? But here we go right now. This is where we go from this. Okay? You go to the sets, and this right here is probably the hidden gem. For a lot of you guys that are not going to actively be trying to complete diamond sets, this is crazy. Let me just point out right, right now, though, that the tokens are not sellable right now. I don't know if that will change. If that changes... Obviously, we will come up with our price range, and that will also increase your odds of becoming a mutt millionaire very, very quickly because people don't want to waste time. People don't want to do... Let me just tell you something about the world in general. When people get accustomed to things, they become lazy. They don't want... You know, it's like, yo, I don't want to cook today. I'll just go to the store and get, you know, get the food. It's already made. That's what happens, right? So people don't want to come in here and be like, oh, bro, I got to put 10 goals in here, dog. Yo, what? I don't want to do this. But we as grinders do, and we get the benefit from it. So we have to be smart with that situation, okay? And understand that there's a lot of people that are not going to want to do it. So while we can, we should do it. You know what I'm saying? While we can, we should absolutely 100% make sure that we're able to get those things. And that's a very, very smart thing that, you know, that you guys should be looking into doing right now, okay? Um, making sure you have those trophies and, I mean, those, uh, those tokens. And if EA decides to make it auctionable or tradable, you're already going to be on a come up. All right, so now let's get back to this with the Team Diamonds. This year, they've brought back the old way of using individual cards to uh, complete the, uh, the Team Diamond sets, which a lot of people are going to be going crazy for. This card, in my opinion, is the number one cornerback in the game at launch. All right, so we're going to use him for an example. If you look through this, these, this is the way they used to do it in the older Ultimate Teams. They used to have it so that you had to have specific cards in order to complete the set. Last year, EA went away from that by doing wild card, any card. You know what I'm saying? With this being specific cards, you're going to make a lot of coins again. Because some of these cards are going to be rare. And guess what that means? People are going to be willing to buy it because, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not going to be a lot of them available, supply and demand. So all you have to do is once you get a card like this or you see that there's not a lot on the auction house and you have the coins, buy them all up. Buy them up and make sure that nobody else has them and then start pricing them crazy. And like I said, do I think that it's okay that EA does this? I don't really care. You know what it is? I understand now this opens the market up and some of us are going to be, uh, you know, luckier than others. Remember, it doesn't matter how smart you are, whatever. It, it's about luck. A lot of things like hard work, you still need a little bit of luck. You could work like just completely 24 hours a day for your whole life and not get anything. You need a little bit of luck. Okay? So... If you're lucky enough to pull these cards or you have enough coins to buy it or you see it for cheap and you know that it goes into this set, get it. Because the only one that's going to probably be cheap regardless is going to be like Blake Bortles. Like who wants Blake Bortles? Blake Bortles don't want Blake Bortles. That's a Blake Bortles fact, by the way. Uh, shout out to that dude on Twitter. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Right now he's going for 9,500 coins. I don't expect that to rise. It's an 80 overall card. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be around that rate. When you start to get to the higher price cards, that's when it's going to get crazy. When the higher, the higher the overall of the card, the more it's going to be priced. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, Leonard Fournette, he's going for 75 k That's too pricey for 84 overall card. If he becomes rare, though, he'll be going for, like, 400 500 k So most of the elites out of every one of these sets are going to, at least one of them, are going to become rare out of each one of these things that you're going to see here. It always happens. That's why they went away from it. But they brought it back. So guess what? We're going to take advantage of it. Also keep in mind when you, if you're not like trying to do anything with any of these sets and you're just all about coins to start, always check the value of the cards when you get them by pressing the L1 button inside your item binder and see what it's worth. But go through the teams, okay? Go through the teams and like, you see like how you see I have a decent amount of these cards? I know I'm not getting rid of these cards, 
even though they're only goals, because I don't know. You got to remember, back in the day, there was a Larry Foot goal card that was going for like 500 to a million coins because it was so rare. Don't forget that, guys. Don't worry because it's a gold. Check it to see if it's available in, you know, in wide variety in the auction house before you put it into a set because you could lose like I did because I actually pulled the Larry Foot card and quick sold him or something like that in 16 or whenever it was. And it was weird because I was like, yo, that guy's garbage. But he went into a set that I needed. And I didn't know that till later. So I had to get my coins up. And then like 500K later when I bought it, like a 70 overall card I spent 500K for so I can complete a set. Okay? So understand that. Also remember, launch time means a lot of packs, means a lot of cards are going to be actively going in and out of the auction house. So you have to be careful. Okay? Oh, I thought they gave me a plus on that. You saw that? You saw it looked like it was a plus there? Yo, that was glitchy. Did they just give me a, like, give me a free card? About to be like, yo, yes, sir, EA. Yo, but I went up and it was gone, though. Yo, that was tricky. I don't know if you guys caught that. But, yeah, that's pretty much what it is, all right? So teams like the Jags, OBJ, okay? Like, looking at it, like, I think one guy has his card right now and is going for a ridiculous amount. Yeah, nobody's paying that. Like, for that upgrade, it, it's not really worth it. You know what I'm saying? You would just keep his core elite. If you pull his core elite, um, I mean, like, you wouldn't have to go ahead and try to buy that. Just buy another wide receiver instead of buying that to complete this set because it's not going to be that much more. And remember, it's just a plus two overall difference because this card is an 87 and then this diamond is an 89. So I, I wouldn't go too crazy with stuff like that. But if you pull the card, make sure you wait it out and you put it up very, very nice and calmly. Like, here you go, sir. And somebody's going to buy it. Okay. And these golds and stuff like that, be very, very careful. This is not the year that it's like, oh yeah, it's just a gold card. No. It's not. Gold cards will make you mutt rich. And remember, remember what's going to happen, right? The richer you get in this game, that means that you're going to be able to take advantage of all of the power-ups and your team is going to be even that much more sick. It's going to be unbelievably ridiculous. I'm letting you know that right now. Because the way they have this set up, you, a lot of people that don't understand are going to lose and buy packs in order to succeed. Guys like us or girls like us, we're, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I just want to make anybody feel like out. You know what I'm saying? Everyone. Let me just say, because I just said girls like us, like whatever. A all of us, anybody that's part of the G Myers World fam, let's do it like that. Anyone, because everybody is welcome. We are all going to have the upper hand, okay? Because we know what's really going on. But these other newbies, we're going to feed on them like eagle, bro. You ever seen an eagle go down and get its prey, how quick it is? And then you realize like, wow, that eagle's mad big, bro. Yes, that's what we're going to be. And we're going to swoop down and take these guys because they don't know what's happening. They don't understand what we're doing. So when we put up a card for ridiculous prices or whatever and it's selling, they won't know why. But we will. It's team specific. So this Hogan's a bum and usually he would be a quick sell in Madden 18. He's staying. You know what I'm saying? These cards, this is the GOAT Tom Brady. People are going to spend to do these sets like Tom Brady, the Ramseys and stuff like that. And this is essentially the way that you're going to become a mutt millionaire in no time. If you have any other questions or comments, leave it in the comment section. Welcome to G Myers World. One love.